Welcome to the next Trend Furniture Table Base Assembly video. This is a generic assembly video which will help you to put together most of the common cafe table base styles that are on the market. Let's start with what comes in the box. Table base, table top cross plate, center pole, threaded rod, base weight. Not all bases have this weight. Nuts and washers. There will be two narrow nuts, one larger nut, one flat washer and one spring washer. Self-tapping screws for attaching a tabletop. Please check that these screws are suitable for the tabletop that you want to attach before using. Nut tensioning tool. This will work if you don't have a set of spanners, although a spanner is always easier to use if you have one. Step 1. Take the threaded rod and on the end that is going into the top plate, wind one of the narrow nuts onto the bar approximately 50 mm. Step 2. Take the top cross plate and push the threaded rod through from the underside until there is a portion sticking out the other side of the cross plate. Step 3. Take the second narrow nut and wind it on until the end of the rod is just level with the top of the nut. Drop the rod down so that the top nut is firmly seated in its hexagonal housing. Step 4. Firmly fasten the lower nut hard against the top cross plate and tighten with the nut tensioning tool or a spanner. The threaded rod should now be held firmly in place. Step 5. Take the center pole and slide it over the threaded rod and insert it into the top cross plate. Please note, there is a locating lug which matches up with the notch on the pole. When fitted together, it locks the pole in place and prevents it from rotating. This must be located correctly, or your table base will either wobble, sit crooked, or both. Step 6. Carefully slide the table base over the threaded rod, again ensuring that the notch lines up with the lug. Not all table bases will have this locating notch on both the top and the base of the pole. Step 7. If your table base comes with a weight, slide it over the threaded rod. There is usually only one way that this weight goes, to sit snugly in the base. Look for the recess in the weight for the nut to go in, and put this to the top. Step 8. Slide the flat washer over the rod, the spring washer and then the large nut. Finger tighten only at this stage. Step 9. Align the top cross and the base, and check that the locating notches are seated correctly. Once this is achieved, tighten the nut down hard so the entire base is locked into place. It is not necessary to over tighten this nut, as the locating lugs will stop the base from twisting undone. Finally, check that the adjustable feet are all screwed into the base fully. They can vibrate out during transport and will make the base appear uneven when you turn it over. Congratulations, you have successfully assembled your table base.